right, and welcome back to the Make Code for Mic for Kindergarten Microbit program with Zilli. And we are here on the makecode.microbit.org website, and we're going to do one of the tutorials. So we've done the coin flipper. Uh -huh. We've done that. Oh, we didn't do the cards. The cards. Oh, these are instructions. That's not a tutorial. We've done this. Let's see. Oh, you know what we could do? A feet thing. A feet thing? Okay. And then you have to run around. Do you have socks? No. No. Hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I can't. Okay, which one do we want to do? Uh, is that just a rule or something? Uh, what do we have? Uh, let's do the feet thing. Okay, I'll just run with my feet. All right, step counter. I'll just run with my feet. I'm okay. All right, let's see. I'll go get my socks on if you want. No, we're okay. Okay, so there's a lot of text here. What we're going to do is we're going to build a counter. So, so we, have, we have to get an on start. So we need to get an on start. So it's on basic. Basic because it's blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a counter for uh, the number of steps we do. So first we need. Basic. We need to create a variable called step. It's in red, so it's music or that. That one. That one? Yeah. And variable is like a souvenir, like something you remember in your head. Uh, and we built that step, S T E P. S T. Where's T? E P. Step. Okay. And that's like something you remember in your head. Okay. And you're so gonna put that in on start. That's it. All right. Now to detect that you make a step, we are going to. Like step with your foot. Yeah. So when you step with your foot, you. <laughs> tap the ground. So if you tap the ground, we might be able to detect that with a shake event. Okay, we have to go here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change step by one. Whenever you whenever you click, uh, whenever you go and shake, I'm going to show it. Whenever you take the shake, we increment your counter, step counter by one. Sounds what, what, what? Sounds about right. Okay, we have to do. Yeah. And then the last step is going to be to get on here and go on basic and get this. The last step is going to be to show the number of steps uh, on the screen. Basic. So we're going to show a number. That's like the first one. Show number. Where show number? Show number. Yeah. And then we're going to show step. Step. And step is a variable. Step. There you go. We're going to read the value that's stored in step. Mm -hmm. And then we show it on the screen. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's all it takes. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Is that the finished tutorial? So, shake. Oh, shake. When? Okay. Two. Hey, yeah, see? It shows the number of steps you have. You can click on shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Let's try it on the hardware and then That's going to be pretty hard. We're going to How about you go and get a pair of socks yeah. and then uh, You can start doing your little thing and I get my whoops. socks on So I click on download and then I get my download click save as Select my micro bit Here we go and it's transferring to the micro bit. All right. So imagine I'm walking, and now my steps are being recorded. And we're going to test that on a real feed and see whether this works. We're going to need the battery, so I'm going to plug in my battery here. I'm going to finish the tutorial while my assistant is preparing for running with the micro bit. I can, so going back to the editor, I can expand back the, the lesson here. And the last step in this exercise 
is to stop the animation. And the reason we want to do that so that when the number starts to be long, let's say a thousand, then it takes like a few seconds to show. But we really want to show the number as, as fast as possible. So we're going to tell the micro bit to just stop whatever number it's showing so that we can show the next one. So that makes the app a bit more uh, responsive. So if we go back to, we'll go back here and then I can shake and now it's really just immediate and it will show constantly the number of steps I've done. All right, so I'm gonna download that. So click download, save as. Save link as, find your micro bit drive, and click save. <coughs> and it's downloading. Zero. So here we have a step counter. And what you're going to want to do is to put it on battery. I've used a two-sided tape here. And uh, you know what? We're going to add one more thing. We're going to, well, no, actually, that's pretty good. And we can shake it. And then what you can do, because we're at home and we don't move all day long, is track how many steps you've done. So, Zeli, socks. show your socks. Da -da. <laughs> We've got some nice socks here. And we're going to, let's see, let's install the device. <laughs> we're going to install the micro bit. I'm going to reset it. So we are at zero here. I'm gonna put it here and Zeli go around and run and come back. So she's running, running around the room, running back, come on, come on back. It looks like it's And then we've got six. No, actually it's nine. Let's turn it around so we see it. We've got nine steps here. Ten steps. Let's run. Let me show run that. Even faster. Ten steps. So that's how simple it is with the micro bit to create your own step counter. Uh, and make sure you're doing a lot of exercise while staying at home. Dad, now what do I do? I'm standing up, so. And all the code you needed is here. You create a counter, variable, step. You increment it every time you do a step, and then that's you show the number. That's the whole thing. If shake doesn't work for you because you work more slowly, you can try 3G. 3G is a good event. What do you do? Oh. Oh. It also oh. works pretty well to do step counting. Oh, yeah. And then that way you can track Daddy, whether you're doing enough this. exercise during the day. Thanks to the micro bit. Oh, this is really hard. All right, Nell, uh, Zilli, that's it for Nell today. Daddy. All right, people, see you on another movie. We'll be out for spring break and see you in a week. And cheers.